here we made it, we're in Hachioji now, just doing a bit of day planning now because Lauren obviously starts work tomorrow and we kind of need to get our uh, ducks in a line or whatever the expression is so that we make the use of the days that we have together. So this is the uh, the Airbnb that Lauren managed to get which is just like makes a hotel room look like a halting site to be honest. So I'll give you uh, a quick tour of La Place. <laughs> Fucking battery. Yeah, so, tour. Nice little bathroom with an absolutely fantastic flusher system. Car comes out tap. Genius. Spare bedroom, yes, we have a spare bedroom. Washroom, bathroom. And then I'm in this big room. Whole thing's a shower. Kitchen. Living area, balcony. As you can see, we're like second floor up. I was gonna say, I don't know whose balcony that is, but it's still our balcony because it's connected to this crazy room. This room is like got a soft floor. We're just using it to store our suitcases because it's extremely handy as the rooms are small. I suppose if you want to do yoga or something, it's, I don't know. I don't know what the hell you're doing here. And then, bedroom. That's us, pretty cool. Much nicer than a hotel room. So today's plan, we're gonna go to uh, park, Fujimori Park, and because um, Lauren's working tomorrow, so maybe explore a bit more of Hachioji this evening, go for dinner, Lauren starts work tomorrow. Ice candy. That one. Which one? The blue one. Just stopped off to get a nice cool drink and an ice cream as it's like 30 odd degrees. claims if I listened to her more often, my life would be uh, less stressful and more logical. Mutually good idea. No, that's Lauren that's had a good idea. He's been claimed it for himself three days later. Time lapse the train. Sticky. I'm a sticky, sticky man. I'm sticky mole. I'm a Japanese Pokemon. Sticky mole. that to the camera or me? I love the camera. Big, big, big. Oh, how cute. Big, big, big. Oh, how cute. Entrance to our abode. Test. You can't see through that. Yeah, not through it. Oh yeah, see that looks good. Yeah. Oh, it recognizes that class. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Look, come over and look. You
I'm doing this because I think I haven't been eating enough Japanese food. I suppose we've been uh, cheating. We've had burgers and chips. We've had steak, potatoes. Uh, I think the closest thing we've had that's Japanese is we had a bit of sushi in the restaurant. We also had um, katsu and... Oh yeah, we had uh, like battered tempura. stuff. But I mean, to be fair, it's not really a shock to the system. And I suppose when you go somewhere like Japan or Asia or somewhere very different, you want to you wanna just really test yourself and try something that you know you've not tried before or know you never will probably ever try again because it's either A, too disgusting or B, just not possible to get. For my first one, I've probably started with one of the har hardest things, just looking at them. You can see what I mean, Maltesers with caramel. What they actually are is quail eggs, but I don't know how they've been prepared. I just know that they are prepared and I think are pretty much ready to eat. If not, meet me in the bathroom for plenty of vomiting. You may maybe meet me in the bathroom for plenty of vomiting anyway, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells like barbecue sauce. Mmm. Oh, Jesus. Just for dramatic effect. Lauren's being my handy cameraman today. You ready? They look like two balls. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't put out any more because you're not going to eat them. Okay. Okay. A little bit of juice on my hand. <laughs> Oh, Lick God. it. Oh god. It's they, they actually look fine. So just so we can really get a good look at what these actually are. Oh, do you know what these are? These are pickled. Pickled cooked quail eggs. They're probably delicious. What do they taste like? A cup of pie. It's not the texture at all, the texture is fine. What? Is this the texture? And they taste fishy. They taste a little fishy. They taste like barbecued, they taste like barbecued mackerel. Sorry, smoked mackerel. Smoked mackerel. But the texture is just so much worse. But I will admit one thing. Not half as bad as I was expecting. I could, I could eat the pack of them if I had to. If it was a matter of life and death, not that it would ever be a matter of life and death, because I can never imagine a situation in which you were forced to eat a pack of pickled quail eggs to save someone's life or your own. That's the sound of the quail when he's laying his quail eggs. Do you want to try one? No. But yeah, next time, next time will have to be something more, more disgusting. Disappointed, but happily disappointed. Are you sure you don't want them? I'm sure. Day three is over. Today's been a short one. Tomorrow, going to Kamakura. It's by the sea, two hours south of here. Update you in the morning, nice and early for the train to Kamakura.